what I find interesting. May God bless. May God bless us all. May God bless our minds. And I pray that God heals us from every wound we may have. What I find interesting, maybe the right word is not interesting. What I find interesting, I guess, how someone can find the wrong in what you are saying, but don't find the wrong in what they are saying. It's like a person may feel, a person may use or judge by their feelings to judge that you are wrong. But what they are doing is definitely wrong, but somehow, I guess, they can't judge what they are saying or what they have said to you is wrong. Does that make any sense? Like a person can say, Jimmy, I feel not that it is, not that it is, but I feel what you are saying is wrong. But at the same time, what they are saying is wrong, but somehow they don't feel what they have said is wrong if that makes any sense. Though, so they see you're wrong, which may not, which it may not be wrong. So they see you're wrong, but choose not to, I guess choose not to see the wrong in them. Imagine that. Like, let's say I cuss you out. I'm calling you all types of bad things. And let's say you say, Kevin, you should not say that to me. So I say, why did you say that to me? You should not tell me I that I should not speak to you in the way that I am speaking to you. So because you told me that, you are wrong. But... I cussed at you, I really, really offended you, but I feel justified doing wrong because my feelings are made me feel the way that I do. And because it was my feelings, it is not wrong because I have to trust in my feelings. So my feelings, is the judge of right and wrong. How ridiculous is that? How corrupt, how evil, how wicked is that? My feelings are the judge. You can be saying everything correctly. I can say everything wrongly, but because of my feelings, my wrong is right. Your right is wrong. Everything <laughs> seemingly is upside down. Are you that way? Are you? I can say, hey, Daryl, you know, you should not correct me. You should not tell me that as a Christian, I should not cuss. Based upon my feelings, 
my feelings are real. So my feelings are the motivating force, I guess I can say, behind me behaving in a particular way. So since my feelings are real, since my feelings are my own, what I did to you is not wrong because why? Because my feelings say so. Yeah, I know about God. I know what is right, right or wrong according to the Bible, but my feelings, my feelings, I guess, are, is my savior, is my Messiah. Do you see how wicked that is? Do you see how demonic that is? Making your feelings the judge. What you say makes sense, but I don't care about sense. No, 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 no. I care about the way I feel. And based upon the way I feel, it tells me, yes, according to the Bible, you are right. Yeah, <laughs> you are right according to the Bible, but that doesn't matter in this situation now, no. What matters is my feelings. And since my feelings are telling me you are wrong, it doesn't matter if you are right according to the Bible. Just saying it seems very weird to me, man. Are we that way? Are we that ridiculous? Are we that, are we that way? We can see right or wrong, but if our feelings are telling us, you are justified to do what is wrong. So since you are justified, based upon your feelings, to do what is wrong, in that case there, <laughs> your wrong is right. Are we that way? Are we? Can we go to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So if the Bible is telling us to not lean to our own understanding, what does that mean? Excuse me. I believe this is saying we have to go by God's rules. Our feelings may feel very real and they may be real. But just because our feelings are real doesn't make them right. So trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Verse six, in all thy ways, thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So we have to go by the word of God, not by our feelings. I believe there are so many times when my feelings are telling me this and that. Just because I feel that way doesn't mean I should do it. Doesn't mean my feelings are right. Can't, which I believe this is true, I believe our feelings can be manipulated by demons. So if that is true, we have to be very careful. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse nine, I believe, let me see. The heart is deceitful 
above all things and desperately wicked who can know it. Everything that comes to our mind, we have to judge it. Our feelings, we have to judge it. Just because we have thoughts, just because we have feelings, doesn't mean they are right. We have to judge it. We may feel it very strongly, just because the intensity of our thoughts or feelings doesn't make them correct. Okay, let me stop here. May God bless us all.